Shalom Chabrim, I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live. And you know, friends, each day as we go for a walk, headed out of our apartment here, there's paintings all up and down the hallways here, different types of things. And recently I came out of the apartment and as I was walking, I passed this painting that you see right here before you. And it was kind of one of those paintings that makes you stop and wonder, what is it? But on the day that I was passing this time, as I come walking down the hallway, and this was to my left shoulder, I saw it and I began to immediately recognize what this painting really was. As I looked at it, I recognized this spot. Then I recognized this spot as well. And I knew I was looking at the state of Israel. Oddly enough, I was looking at the state of Israel, but it had been turned. And here was the coastline, the Mediterranean, the Sinai Peninsula, and Haifa right here. I went back and I brought my wife and my father-in-law and I asked them, go for a walk with me. And they did. And as I got to this painting here, I said, what do you see? Well, my wife stepped back for a moment and she looked at it and she said, I see a woman praying. And then she pointed to this figure right here, the face of a woman, her long hair, her robe, her hands up like this, but she's praying. And then her long train that lay here on the ground. And when she said that, it struck my heart. I thought about the biblical scriptures. Remember the ones where it says about Rachel weeping for her children and they are not? weeping over the children of Israel. They would be murdered by Herod. And as I went back and looked at the topography of this map from Google Earth, I realized, even though this was a painting, it was not superimposed. This is a mountain chain. This beautiful like halo around this woman, or could it even be Yeshua praying, for example? I can't say, we don't know if this is a woman or a man, but the topography and everything, the mountains, the colors, all are laying there clearly depicting someone praying over Israel. I was blown away by this, that my wife saw this right here, the image of someone, be it man or woman, praying over Israel. And of course, we think automatically of Rachel, weeping for her children, as the prophecy says, but they were not in the times of Herod and the long train, and of course, as I did look at the topography of the map, and I'll show you here on Google as we turn that image sideways inside of Google, as you can see, Israel, if you were to stand it up, it is perfectly the country of Israel, the border, everything going all the way down here to the Gulf of Aqaba, the Jordan River, the Salt Sea, the Dead Sea, as we should say, the Dead Sea, the Kinneret, or the Sea of Galilee, and of course, the upper part of Israel, and the Golan. Unbelievable. But this one praying is what touched my heart the most. You can even see the arm, the movement, and everything, and yet it's written out in the very Google Maps itself. You can see the image the same, but the artist seems to bring that to life. I don't know if the artist even realized what they were doing. And I've not really seen a place on here where it shows the artist's name or anything, but I thought it was something we should share with you guys. What a blessing. What a mighty God we serve that literally would put in the mountains themselves. Could it be, could it be Rachel? Or could it actually be Yeshua? As we know, he wept over Jerusalem as he prayed for them. Well, send me your thoughts as well. Share them with me here on our channel here on Danun Institute, Rise Up Children of God and Israeli News Live. Love to get your comments on this as well. I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live and Danun Institute of Biblical Research.